Hello, another video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find homework assigned by your teacher within your class within Google Classroom. Uh, we're going to look at that homework, navigate around it, make ourselves familiar with how things are set out within your homework, and then I'll show you how to, on completion of that homework, resubmit the homework back to your teacher. So I'm in my class. This is called test area, but it would be called, as I said before, in one of the earlier videos, it'd be your year group, your teacher, and possibly your class code in the subject. So I'm in the stream section here where your teacher can communicate to you and leave comments and announcements. If we move over to classwork, this is how your teacher sets out all the work within your your particular class. As I said before, it, it should be organized by topic heading. So different topics you cover within your subjects. Or in this case, my teacher has a topic called homework. So this is where I would find my homework. This also could be just an assignment you do in class as well. So I've got my homework. I can see here, week commencing the 5th of October this week, that I've got some aims and objectives homework for my business class. So as a student, I click on that. I can, if I want to, just read what the homework is about uh, without actually going into the assignment. And I can see the documents. And you can actually click on these documents uh, directly from this stage. However, in more detail, I can go to view assignment here. So I'll click on view assignment. And as I've shown you in an earlier video, we can see set out here uh, the homework uh, that has been set for me. So I have uh, the details here on what to do. So I'll read that very carefully. I can see up here when it is due. Now this is really important because your teacher will put a due date in there. So this is when the homework is due to be completed for. So that is that is Monday the 12th of October at quarter past three. I've got two supporting presentations here one with the actual topic and the information in and one is some guidance on how I can answer the questions the nine mark questions in particular over to my right we have actually what the work has been assigned for me and this is my document which I will complete and down below is the button which I use to hand it in so first of all I, I can click on any of these buttons at any time and I can open that document up there Okay, so here's the presentation giving details about the particular homework. Please note it creates a new tab at the top of your screen, so you can go back to that screen at any time, and you can close that down at any time, really. Notice the teacher set it to view only, uh, and you can view this as a presentation, or you can simply click through each slide. So I'd read the case study, read it very carefully, and then start to look at the questions that have been set for me. Okay then, so I'm happy with that, and I'll close that down. I might also want to click on this presentation, and this actually gives me some guidance on how to answer the, the more difficult nine mark question. And again, I can just simply scroll through the slides to read that information. So then, I'm aware of uh, what the homework is about, and there it is, and I've got the questions in front of me here. So if I go back to uh, this section of the assignment, is actually the, the Google Docs or yeah, the Word document for completing this homework. So if I click on that, it opens it up and it's a Google Docs document. All right, it automatically gives it a, a file name. Uh, I've got details on here, but when it's uh, when it was set, I would type in there my name and I answer below. Now, this is very different to Microsoft Word, which you're very familiar with. This is now cloud-based, so it automatically um, automatically saves your work as you type. You don't need to save as, you don't need to come out. You just simply go into your document and start typing st straight away. Notice at the top it saves uh, uh, when you type. So if I go back again, type that again, you can see it automatically typing as you go along. So uh, imagine I know my homework, I put Q1 for question one, the answer, to question one is as follows. 
uh, because you're new to it, it may give you a little handy tips uh, and I can carry on writing like that. Uh, I click and I do question two and answer to Q2 is and so on. So this is how I answer my homework. Q3 is blah blah blah. Okay. Right. That's all done. It saves automatically. It will auto it will automatically save into your Google Drive section. Um and also it saves virtually so it's there safe for you so don't worry on another video in the future I'll talk about how Google Drive works but don't worry about that yet so I can close that down here and I also can close that down if I wish I don't have to press anything over here yet so if I close that down uh, it is as it was so if I actually go back into it I'll close it down it has saved those changes and you'll see here the whole work as it is there now imagine this is now complete. I'm happy with it. I can go back into it. I can change it. But I'm happy now it's complete. So I'll close that down here. Okay. We can see here. Now please don't press on add or create. That's for adding other documents that you want to hand in. Don't do that. Your homework is complete. It's all complete in that document there. What you need to do. You can put in here. Uh, and give a message if you want. Hi sir. Uh, my homework and you don't have to do this is complete um, I found question four difficult this will directly message your teacher okay so that'll go through to your teacher all right and then if you're ready to send it away you go hand in what attachment will be submitted to your teacher are you happy about that yes I'm happy to hand it in And your document then is going through to your teacher okay if you have a sudden panic and you want to unsubmit it you can press unsubmit here and then re-enter add more detail and you can send that through to your teacher okay if that's all done and dusted and that's complete that homework is, is, is complete you can actually come out of that and you can just go back to um, back to your home page Okay, back to your class, and that's now done. It's handed in. You can see there, it's handed in at that section there. Okay, I hope this is helpful for you. Another video on how we use Google Classroom. So, thank you.